Okay, tomorrow we're going to head out to go see Randy Roberts in Columbus, Ohio to take a look at their folding machine. It's uh, Fotex, and I believe that's going to implement things well within what we do here at uh, Splash Them Out in our warehouse. So we're going to check that out and see if it's going to be a fit for us. Walking in in this facility, this was a this used to be a, a laundromat, right? Yeah. You've closed this yeah. down to the public. He's actually yeah. closed this down to the public because you've just gotten so busy on wash, dry, and fold and pick up and delivery. Yeah. Unbelievable. So so now you've scaled. What did you do to scale? <laughs> this bad boy? This, this thing right here helps you. Now we struggled before we had this, but ultimately this is a life changer right here. This uh, gives us the ability. It's no longer, are we doing 20, 30, 40 pounds an hour? It's how much laundry do we have that's ready to be dried? And then we put it through it. Now, while it can't do everything, it can't do socks. Okay. It can't do underwear. It can't do a lot of the children's clothes because they're not wide enough Very to be small. done. But anything that's a female size, small to you know quadruple, extra large, whatever, as big as you want to get. The kids' clothes you give them to the uh, the latest <laughs> hired employee. <laughs> <laughs> well, and well the first thing you want it to quit. We're, yeah, <laughs> we're, we're still working. Yeah, that, that's a fact. We're, we're still working through some of the process stuff here. But what I'll tell you is. This thing right here is something that differentiates us from everybody else doing stuff. And what you'll see is the level of consistency of the fold is what really makes this thing yes. special. So, so you were opening this up on the back yep. end. So I'll open the back up here. This is the back end of the machine. This is where it does, the, uh, you can do a French fold on the back side of this. Oh. So this will do three folds across. And what you'll see is for our towels, we have customers that have never had a, a towel service with a company like us before and the first time they get the towels are like I can't believe how well you guys fold towels. You can program this to whatever garment you're going to This fold. has I think if you want to do the maximum functionality you can get up to 240 different programs on this machine. There are 60 what I'll call base level programs each one of them has four subsets associated with it. We're putting you on the machine next. Oh, oh gosh I don't know if I could do this. So let's put uh, Kelly on the machine. Let's, I'll, I'll, I'll show you how difficult this is. So if I can do it, I, I say anybody can do it. So here's what we're going to do. So first of all, we're going to program it. Kelly. We're going to say, OK, um, what, what would we like to do? And we're going to do large towel mix. OK, so large I'm going to select mix. Large, towel, large towel mix. So what we're going to do is we're going to start the machine here. We're going to hit the reset button, hit that twice. Oh, wow. And now we're feeding. Okay, so this. we're going to step up here, we're going to lay the towel on here, and it's going to disappear. Oh. You don't have to put it on there like perfectly? No, no. Lay it on it. I try and center it on that piece there. That's the goal. And the goal is for us to center the product on that center rack. Lay it on it. But what will happen is you got to get that front end down. Yeah, she, she's the expert. You want to lay it towards the front end facing. and that, that, If you do that, you're fine. There you go. And it takes, and the first few times you do it, you're a little bit jumpy well, because I, it's going to grab it from you. I was worried I was going to like get pulled in. No, nope, it won't pull she you She was through. going in. I thought you were going in. We were going to fold Kelly. But then we'll go over to the other side and we'll kind of see what you've done. So how long have All we right. been on this machine? Less than a minute. Maybe. We haven't been here very long, right? No. All right, let's so go let's look. look at, let's look at the products that we've you've got. You've already folded all those towels. Oh, there's my towel that was yep. done. So the one that was, the one that was basically was folded over, That's you can see that one. Did. It's identified easily. Right here, right? That's the one that's, that didn't blend. That's the one I did. Yeah, <laughs> and that's just because that front end on it was laid over. He's yeah. Fine. So as you as you get a little bit more skilled on it. This is great. So then all we do is take them. And then you put them in the basket. Put them in a cart like this. It fits perfect in the. So we've spent less than a minute, and we've got, and that's worked over very well. So is it dirties right there? So this is, if you look at it, this is kind of the inbound side of the business. Yes. So these are the things that have come in. These are our customers that are uh, came in over the weekend and then okay. we've got we basically take them down to the end and then we will basically um, start the laundry so this side all the dirty okay the other side is all the clean okay all the clean comes up goes to the machine things that cannot be folded are then staged with those products and then we take them to a folding table what's your largest machine uh, what are these 30s, These are 20s, 20s, 20s and 30s. 40s, 40s, 60s. So we've got 60s. three 60s on the back side here. Okay. Which we do how, do, how do they start the machines? So there's no coin in here for these machines. You just hit the start just button. Just hit the start. Okay, good. So we basically good. taken the coin out of the washers. 
We still have coin in the dryers. I was noticing this. Just to like... control the time on it, so no. The answer is no. And if we did that, we actually got to the point where we talked about doing it as a quarter. I, it's just, let's just not have them on then this. you have to find a quarter. Correct. Before we leave here, I noticed you have air up here. What's mm -hmm. this for exactly? Is this to This right clean here we or? use for cleaning out the machine. So basically, okay. if we want to clean the deck and go through, and, because you get a lot of lint okay. in the laundry mat. So I take it you have to have a compressor to use this machine? Yes. Okay. Yes. See the machine from the, you know, this is the delivery end. And it's basically got a touch screen where you can go in. And these are the different programs that we have put in it. So there's 20 here, 40, 60 different programs. And each one of those programs has up to four different settings on it. Okay. And then there's a little hidden switch here, which when you put things on it, I don't use it enough. I might have to figure out which one it is, but. <laughs> how long did it take you to learn how to put these programs in? Or do, do you have someone who will come in and put the programs in for you? I'll ultimately, we had people come in with this. When we bought the machine, part of the service is they will come in and spend three days with you on site. Um, and when they did that, we created these 60 programs. I've created a couple on my own. Okay. But How are those working out? They, they actually, we'll use one of them. Okay. It's, it's for our towels. When we have a little bit thicker towels, uh, there's a setting in the back of the machine that opens and closes. It's a thickness setting. And you'll hear it when I hit the, a certain customer setting you'll hear the back end will open up more for the cross fold. You know, if things break down, what's, what's the maintenance of this? Am I gonna have to be involved? We bought this machine because of, we went to a very large menu uh, cleaning facility in Dayton, Ohio, uh, that does high volumes, hundreds upon hundreds of uh, towels, hospital beds, all of these things per hour. So you've gotten pretty much the kinks out of where, or did you just, did you hit the ground running? So what I'll say is that we spent three days programming it and from that point, right now it's more on us. We've okay. got to work on our processes. We've got to work on how do we get it from wash, dry? How do we get it staged, which is what you see back yes, there. Yes, I see. Right? We're staging things to put through the folder. So they're system. draping, they're, they're, Correct. okay. They're taking yes. them and putting them on, they're putting them in a format where we can easily take it and put through here. So I think what's next is, I think we need some extra work here today and we're gonna put somebody to the test. But no, this is this is such an easy process that I think what you'll find is it's for towels and anything, anything can do towels. Okay, so towels realistically aren't a difficult challenge for any it's machine. Time consuming for an individual to do them. 100%. Yes, that's well, why. It, it's, it's something that when, when you, it's as easy as picking this up, putting it on here and okay. letting the machine do the work. And it spits it out, it stacks a certain amount of them and then it takes it over and there's a conveyor on the other side yes. that gets it away. And we're still working in the space we have, we have about 2000 square feet here, okay? And this machine, as you see, this took up a row of washers. So we've removed a row of washers. We've staged them a little bit further back, but at the end of the day, this machine right here replaces the wrong work, okay? We're, not, we're looking to stick with the people that we've got. We're not looking to cut hours we're looking to build the business around it so that we can scale uh, scale with the team we have yes. without adding tens of employees. That's what this machine does. The weakest link. Before folding was always the weakest link. We could never keep up with the folding. So we had folding tables everywhere. We had up to probably 14 people in this laundry mat. Okay. Folding. 14 okay. people. And we could not keep up with the work. Is it because of the size of the machines? Uh, that you have up here. So is is it because of the size of the machines yes. that this is faster than this? Is that Correct. what you're asking? Yeah, yes. Um, I, what what I'll say right now, the pro, the process gains that we're looking to make will help enable us. Okay. A second, third shift, things of that nature, where these things keep moving all the time to keep this thing moving, is really where the gains will be had. Okay. So we're still going to work on the programming. It's more programming challenge than a machine challenge. Do they mind. have a wider machine to where you could put one sheet in? Um, I'm certain that Queen they. And King? I'm, I'm certain that they do. Okay. Uh, we do not have we the physical facilities. At. Okay. For we don't have the space for that space. in our laundromat currently. I mean, and this place looks great. I like what you've done here. It's. Um, yeah. It's. We, we are. Uh, we we have enough work in here right now that we're using every inch of this space and you'll see that as we walk through. Where do you see yourself in five years with this machine and beyond? So, uh, 
you know, I see continued growth with better efficiencies. Okay. I see us continuing to grow. I see there's a market opportunity that's enormous here that we're just beginning to capture. If, if we were only double what we are now or triple, I might be disappointed in all candor. Well, I'll be honest with you. When, we, when was the clean show? July? Mm -hmm. uh, less than, what was it, six months ago maybe? And it's amazing how much you've grown since then and what you guys have done. Mm -hmm. So when we went, we met at the uh, curbside dinner mm -hmm. and yeah. then we've been just talking since, me, yeah. you and Kelly yeah. On, yeah. on, and you know, where we said we weren't getting commercial uh, wash dry fold. This is not only commercial, this is residential no, and commercial. This, this, this is, is the this is the total solution for everything. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, just seeing this in person puts my mind at ease for the investment that we're about to make in something like this. Kelly and I, same thing. We went to the clean show. It's been six months. We've been just trying to figure out what machine to use. I think this is it. This is the machine. What's the uh, requirements yeah, okay. to have a machine like this and okay, we're gonna put it in a warehouse. We know it's not gonna be a problem. Mm -hmm. But for those of you, of you out here who are in the laundromat business and, and trying to scale your wash, dry, fold, pick up and delivery business, mm -hmm. um, what's required to put this in your building? So very little. Okay. Basically 220, you 220. can do single phase. Single on? phase, okay. Yeah, single phase 220 on it. And, can they and do it, three phase? Yeah, they can do three they phase. They can do three phase, they okay. do three phase. Um, and then basically an air compressor. And I'm gonna tell you, when, we, when you come in this facility, it does look intimidating, especially when we've never done anything like this because you just see these big plants and stuff like this. You're bringing the plant to your laundromat now. Mm -hmm. So it is intimidating. And now you've just added one more component that just makes everybody's job so much easier that the entire team has rallied around what you have here. And I think it's remarkable. Um, and I look forward to doing this. Uh, it looks great. Uh, I'm very impressed with your operation here. So appreciate it, and we, we still are, we're always looking for insight, we're always looking to partner with people that can help us learn to do this better. So you know, we're always receptive to feedback. Well, we're back from Columbus. Uh, we're happy with what we saw. I believe this ma machine's gonna do well for us, this Fotex. I believe it's gonna allow us to scale. I, I like the machine so much that we, we went ahead and placed an order today, and I'll, I'll take you on our journey. Uh, show you how things work out in the future. Make sure you guys like and subscribe and watch the next videos to come.